Welcome to Now About The James Built. Hope you're well, thanks for joining me. Good news, this video does not contain much about ceilings. I have to go and get this because we're moving the boats from Dudswell to Berkhamstead. Okay girls, we're gonna make a move in a minute. We're going down to Berkhamstead. Uh, so I think we've got five locks to do uh, and more up near the pub, hopefully. We're going for a narrow boat trip, okay? I'm driving 58. So which one's 58? This one here. Why are you not driving slow patrol? Because slow patrol's a bit old and weak to carry both boats. So I'm going to use the new boat to drive both boats, okay? Because this one needs some more petrol. No, it's got enough petrol in it. It's just, it's a bit weak to carry both boats. I um, I think he means um, that we stay in this boat, but he drives that boat. That's right. Yeah. How are we going to have for lunch? For lunch? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to have for lunch yet, but thanks to HelloFresh, dinner is solved. I know, I know, Dad. What? Um, we can have a sandwich with yeah, we'll have a sandwich with crisps. As you've just seen, I keep referring to this boat as 58 or Project 58 to you guys and the girls and everyone else. It obviously has been named and today I'm going to... Oh, I might recognise that boat. That's Joe from Danny and Joe. Huh? Oh, I'm going to go and help him through the lock. Uh, I'm going... What was I going to say? I'm going to um, tell you the name of the boat. Right, where's my windlass gone? Well, look who's turned up. Hello, matey. Promise you, this hasn't been staged. This is the first time we've taken hands. You all right, pal? Yeah. See you later, Joe. Bye, mate. I'm really glad I got the chance to meet Joe as he was passing him, helping through the lock. I know it's like solo navigating. I'm doing a bit of it myself today. Two boats, two kids. It's Uncle Sweary Dan. Uncle Sweary Dan. Uncle Sweary Dan. There he is. He's, helped, he's come for a, uh, a little journey down to Berkham, said, and to help us do the locks. Top man. There you go. To be on TV. Well, Bing is on TV at the moment. Right, girls, see you at the next lock. Okay. Cheers, pal. Well, we're all moored up once again here in the Crystal Palace Pound in Berkhamstead. Dan has been an absolute superstar helping me get down here with the girls. It's quite a lot to kind of concentrate on and deal with moving two boats uh, through five locks with two little kids on board. So uh, yeah, Dan was superb. You're right, girls. You hungry? Yeah. Okay, it's time to get these two fed. So what have we got in store tonight? We've got the uh, ultimate chicken and mushroom pie. Mm. Uh, sticky honey beef rice bowl Ooh. or teriyaki sambal chicken. Yum yum. What should we have? What one do you want? Do you want pie, the pie? Daddy. Pie please daddy. Okay we're gonna have the pie. Broccoli's nearly done. Pie's done. This looks really good except it didn't quite come out because the oven doesn't kind of do it very evenly but I did an M in pastry for Matilda, an I for Ivy and a D for Dan. I didn't have room to put a J for me but um yeah, there we go. Dinner served. It smells yummy. It oh. smells yummy. Cool. Well, hopefully it will be. Is this okay, girls? Mm -hmm. It's yummy. Cool. It's been a few months since I've been on the HelloFresh website looking at the recipes and choosing what to have. And when I went on it recently, they've got a whole new selection to choose from, which is great. So you never get bored with it. This one here, the teriyaki sambal chicken, has been endorsed by none other than Stacey Solomon. So I'm looking forward to tucking into that one. Um, if you have been a previous 
hello fresh customer and would like to take advantage of this offer then you can so if you have cancelled your subscription 12 months ago or more you can get yourself this offer and it's a good one 60 percent off the first box and then 20 percent off for the next two months plus some free gifts and check out the free gift that i got oh can we have that yeah in a minute in a minute well after dinner you can but yes yeah, so this is really good so on the qr code on screen now is if you if you zap that with your phone or click in the link in the description of the video below the uh code for this channel is narrowboat24 get yourself the offer you won't regret it it always feels weird now the clocks have gone forward put the girls to bed when it's basically broad daylight but that's what i've done fortunately the front cabin's kind of quite well, it's quite dark in there, which is a nice environment for them to sleep during the British summertime. Although this spot here is quite busy on the old towpath and everyone's walking around between the two pubs. So it's quite a lot of uh, noise outside. But anyway, the girls are down, which is great. Um, I'd just like to thank Mr. Marston and Mr. Ingram who both put some money in my PayPal. Mr. Marston, I will spend it wisely. You'll have to wait until a little bit later in the video to hear what I've got to say about that. And Mr. Ingram, your comment absolutely cracked me up. Cheers, guys. I'm the queen of the castle. You're the, you're the smelly rascal. It's about right. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> that space in front of Rob wasn't available when I moored up. Um, and when it became available, I chose not to take it. It's a bit noisy right next to the pub on a nice sunny weekend like this. So uh, I've opted to stay where I am. But I have a feeling this guy is going to take that spot and find out for himself. That orange boat's moored up in front of Slow Patrol and Project 58. And they're fans of the channel. So it'd be nice to uh, spend the evening with those guys. In terms of tonight, I've still got the girls on board with me. Um, it's the penultimate round of the US Masters tonight, so uh, with Rob's fire stick, I'm hoping to watch that, which would be nice. Um, tomorrow, mucking around on the boats a bit more, and then uh, they're going home tomorrow night. Uh, again, after the final round of the Masters, hopefully they'll be going back. Uh, and then it's business as usual on Monday, and uh, I promise you I wouldn't say much about the ceiling, uh, but business as usual for next week is going to be taking down that PVC ceiling. Uh, it's not coming down on its own accord, despite what some of you might have thought. Um, but it's you know it's the wrong choice of material. Um, it's a bloody ball ache beyond belief to put up. And as I'm looking at it now, it's still not right. So it's just going to kill me. So I'm just going to kind of I, I've emailed the company asking if they can take back one of the packs, the unopened pack. Hopefully they can. So I might get my money back on three of the sheets, but a bit of courier costs or something. Uh, and then my plan is to go in with some proper ceiling panels, uh, kind of TNG ceiling panels, so and clad it that way. I can still make use of the three mil ply boards though, because um, that will kind of provide a nice lining for the for all of the um, yeah the ceiling cladding. So as I said, I promise you won't go much about ceiling, but that is what I'm going to do. So you live and learn, eh? Um, and uh, but I did promise you I will reveal the name of this boat um, and obviously Slow Patrol's kind of got quite big shoes to fill in terms of boat names um, it was kind of a bit of a pun which is quite popular with narrow boat boat names um, and um, I love it you know loads of people always on up and down the towpath they kind of I can hear them when I'm inside the boat I can hear them say the name of the boat and chuckle to themselves or whatever obviously it goes above some people's heads but um yeah, so I like that, but it did have kind of big shoes to fill. Um, so for this, obviously, you've known it's Project 58 so, since it's been uh, launched. Well, I guess it's Project 57 to begin with. The reason it's called Project 58 is obviously because it's a project and it's 58 foot long. It was, uh, well, it was not, it was 57 foot long. That's not right. The information I was given was that it was 57 foot long. And obviously, when I got the, uh, the information, when I got the boat, uh, found out it's 58 foot long. So that's why it's called that. And for a while, I was scratching my head to work out a good name. I wanted to do something to do with Mafia, which is the first initial of my kids' names, but that didn't really kind of materialise into anything. So I started then looking at numerology and things around the number 58 and thinking what might go that way. And then um, I came to um, thinking about the periodic table. 
and uh, the 58th element on the periodic table, the atomic element number 58, is cerium, uh, which is found in steel and is kind of a, a nice, pretty-looking element of steel, really. Um, and it's the 58th atomic element, and I thought cerium 58 has got a nice ring to it. Um, and I looked uh, on the uh, CRT logs and everything like that, and there's no boat named, named cerium 58 or cerium at all. So um, it's unique, again, like slow patrol, which is something I wanted. So that's it. I've settled on that. So before I put the boat in the water at PNS Marine, the boat was obviously registered with the CRT and it was insured and everything like that. Um, and it was all under the name of Cerium 58, which is C-E-R-I-U-M. And um, there's a few facts and stuff about the about the element and stuff. Some of it's actually quite interesting. Um, but uh, yeah, for the moment, that's kind of, well, if you want to find out some about it, you can uh, do your research. But I think the name's got a certain ring to it. I quite like Cerium and Serafina, kind of works quite nicely together. It kind of has got a certain ring to it. So that's the name of Rob's boat. So yeah, that's it. So um, let me know what you think of the name in the comments. I'm sure you will. And until next time, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Thank you.